Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, look who we have. We got Navia on our account, and today, we're gonna build her. I prepared a bunch of materials for her because I was prepared to get her. I've never been prepared for any character more in my entire life than I was for Navia. So, we got everything we need for her today. I'm gonna try to max her out to her full potential because this character is gorgeous and deserves it all, to be honest. Keep rocking those shades. And let's get in to the video. Oh yes, and quickly before we do start today's video, I would really appreciate it if you could go click on that subscribe button. Only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed and it really doesn't take that much time at all. Anyways, Navia, time to get you built. So, what do you need when building a character? Well, the first thing you need is to understand them, because if you don't understand the fundamentals of their kit, then how can you know how to build them? So first thing we are gonna do is try Navia out and understand the fundamentals of her kit and how she works. If you would like to skip past this part into the main section of the video where I build her, I will leave the timestamp right here. Anyways, let's try out Navia. So the way Navia works is super interesting and more unique than any other Geo character in the game. First, let's talk about Navia's skill. So Navia's skill is very simple. She's going to hold out her umbrella and do a big attack that has a very high damage multiplier, even when having low stacks on it. As you see here, we gain stacks of something called Shrapnel. These stacks allow us to do more damage with our skill. As you see when we use our skill, we're going to use up all of those stacks and they are now gone. The only way to get them back is by doing one of two things, either picking up these little crystallized shards we see here, or using her burst. When you use her burst, you're going to see there on the side that those stacks are going to slowly fill up. You're going to be able to get a max of six of these stacks. And then when you have max stacks, you want to fire off your E and do a crazy hit. As you see, we did 86k there, which is a nuts amount of damage. Navia's kit is going to revolve almost completely around trying to get up those stacks as fast as possible. You can do that by doing all the things I just named. But something else that you're actually able to do to get up those stacks a little faster is after doing your E skill you're actually gonna get Geo Resonance with your weapon. And while you do those Geo hits with your weapon, you're actually gonna generate Crystallized Shards on the field. So that helps get a couple more Shards quicker. As you see, we spawned one over there. We get up one stack, bringing us closer to the max amount we need to unleash her big blasted attack. Unfortunately, this passive doesn't last for very long. It only lasts for four seconds. However, it does increase your normal charge and plunging attack damage by 40%. It lets Navia stay out on the field for a little bit longer and just deal a tiny bit more geo damage, although her scale is really what is dealing most of the damage here. You'll notice that her normal attacks and her burst, as you see here, just don't deal as much damage as her skill does. That being said, they are very nice for getting up those stacks that you need to kill the enemy. And that, my friends, is Navia's kit. A very simple but slightly complex one. I love her E ability. Her burst makes it a lot funner, and the Ascension passive, unlocking her ability to resonate with Geo and do some on-field Geo damage, allowing her to be your main DPS, is a lot of fun. But with that being said, let's start leveling her up. Oh yeah, and we have a whole new little menu here. So we just auto-add, and oh, look how much easier my life is. Oh my goodness. Max level reach, I like that little new animation. It adds a little something to it. And we don't have to go back to the start menu, it's just auto add, waste EXP, keep going. I actually, you know what, I don't mind this menu so much. This is a, a nice little change that they add. Not the, you know, most interesting change of all time, but hey, you know what, I appreciate it. Let's keep going, let's keep ascending. Level 50, level 60, level 70. Can we get level 80? Level 80. Oh, we're missing a couple things. We need one more artificial spare clockwork component, Capolius, and a Geo Shard. Let's go get those two things. My goal today is going to be that sweet, sweet level 80, because frankly, I just do not have the Mora or the EXP books for level 90 today, just how it worked out this time. But with that being said, let's go take her to level 80. Uh, oh wait, I'm not ready yet. Let me not use my un artifact no leveled up talents navia for this fight that would be a bad idea instead let's just annihilate him with uh nouvellet yeah that sounds good to me let's go oh i'm so ready bird boom oh get ready for this guys you're about to see one enemy or one boss die in about 2.5 seconds one two three four 
Okay, wasn't 2.5, but we were pretty close. <laughs> New blood is way too good. Uh, give me a good hat. Ooh, uh, I don't know who that'd be good for, but I'll lock it. And we got three clockwork parts. Perfect. The last thing I need is one more little geo crystal. So I'm just going to go back to my bench and craft that quickly. Hello, crafting bench. Let me craft a little geo shard here. I can craft 63 of them and 148 of the blue. Oh my goodness. Clearly, I have not leveled up a geo character in forever. Sometimes I forget how few geo characters we have in the game. We have like eight geo characters in the game and maybe like two good ones. Anyways, final ascension for Navia. Boom, there we go. I like that her ascension stat is crit damage. That's gonna help our crit rate to damage ratio a lot, but let's finish her off here. Level 80, and that's gonna be the end of our leveling for the day. Perfect. Ascension 90 will come for you eventually. But that being said, now that we're level 80, we got something to do. We got three more acquaint fates, and that means we gotta go and get our guaranteed five star. Because you guys don't already know, every time you level up your Navia, you're actually guaranteed to get a five star on the standard banner with those wishes you just got from building your Navia. Watch this. It doesn't usually come on that first one. First one sometimes misses, but then on that second one, you're gonna get the guaranteed five star. Unless you're me. When you're me, that might not happen, but for anybody else, it is very likely that it will be um, an Amber or a Lisa or a Kaya. Shoot. Actually, you know what? I like Kirara. We'll take that. But can I get, but can I get my five star too, please? Please? Okay. You know what? I actually didn't buy my uh, Acquaint Fates this month, so maybe there's still a chance. Look, the order's a little messed up now, but after you level up your Navia, you then go spend three wishes, and then you go to your shop, then you go to the Stardust Exchange, you buy five, and this is when you get the guaranteed five star. It happens every time. It's never not happened to me. I mean, this is just classic Kekfin stuff. Guaranteed five star. Bing, bang, boom. Simple stuff here. Easy peasy. Just, just give it to me. Okay. Um, I'm appar apparently I'm a liar. Ah. <sighs> This game makes a liar out of you and me. Anyways, back to more important matters. Navia, next thing we have to do for you. Now that we have your level 80, we now need a new weapon for you. And although I wanted the axe, if you guys watch my wishing video, you'll remember that we instead got a Miss Splitter Reforge, which I can't really complain about, to be honest, but I did really want that axe for her. However, that being said, I do have another pretty good five-star claymore for you in the beacon of the reed seed which i will have you steal from dia for today's video because this is an absolutely broken weapon on you it literally works perfectly with her kit involving the elemental skill so this is definitely the one i'm going to be rocking with in case anybody's wondering if you want any suggestions for like free to plays or low spenders i'd recommend going with the serpent spine for any uh, low spenders another really good weapon just really good on any damage dealing claymore characters to be completely honest and then the one i would suggest for most free-to-play players i actually don't have on my account it's a weapon called the ultimate overlord mega sword i don't have it but i'm gonna throw up a little screenshot of it right now that one is also really good for her i believe it's actually going to be coming later down the line in the 4.3 update so you might not be able to get that weapon yet but hold off on that weapon for navia because it apparently really good on her next thing we need artifacts look i really want that new artifact set for navia i really want the nighttime whisper set for her unfortunately it literally just came out today so it doesn't look like i will be able to get exactly that set for her but i do have a little bit of resin today so i want to maybe try that domain out and just see possibly if we can get maybe just a couple good new navia artifacts because this is in fact her best in slot set and the one i would like for her the most and although we may not get the perfect four piece artifact set in uh two condensed resin we could still maybe possibly get a good piece or two. So, hey, why not try out the new domain? It's my first time seeing it. Let's go and do it. What enemies do we have? We got every element of slime, and that's probably why they recommend using Geo. And actually, we can probably use Navia in this domain, but I should probably throw on an artifact set before I do that. Let me just throw on a quick placeholder set for Navia for this domain. This won't be her permanent artifacts, but... Just want to get kind of a good idea of what I need here. Also, by the way, I love this new artifact menu. It's actually helping me navigate 
quite a bit here. But anyways, there's my quick artifact set. Won't be permanent, but it is the one I'm going to use for right now. And let's go try out this domain. We're going to throw Navia, of course, in our first slot. She's going to be our main DPS. Now, what characters can I pair Navia with? Let's see. Now, of course, Navia is going to want Geo support so that we can get those crystallized shards faster. A couple good examples of this could be characters like Albedo, Zhongli, Goro could be potentially really good, but I think I like the idea of putting Albedo in this team comp, and then we can throw in a good support like a Bennett to have her do even more damage, and then Zhongli to generate some of those crystal shards and get her stacks up a lot faster. I think Mono Geo will probably most definitely be one of her best teams just because of the crystal shard generation, and that's kind of what I'm hoping. So let's see how good this is. We're going to put down Albedo, Navia. We also want to get up that Navia burst as fast as we can because the Navia burst is going to help us generate sharpnel more quickly and there we go look at that we got six stacks boom 23k that's not even her max potential that's like decent damage at best we can do more than that i know we can boom a 30k again i know we can do more damage than that though we can do way more than that boom 60k and i'd also like to remind you guys i still haven't leveled up her talents even she is still at 111 and we just did 60k a hit the scaling on her skill is actually unbelievable. 24k, no charges, level 1 talent, and to be honest, some pretty bad artifacts. That's how crazy Navia is. She is absolutely broken. Now, let me get a good artifact here. Come on. Two pieces in the set, crit rate or damage. Damn. Hydro damage bonus. Well, I didn't need Hydro. I needed Geo. That's okay, though. We got a couple more runs to go. Let me see if I can get something good in this second run here. Boom. Come on, Navia. Let's get her done here. Yeah, attack. Oh my gosh. I need another one. Come on. I missed. It's actually so easy to miss. That is the problem. It is very easy to miss the skill. Or maybe I'm just bad at the game. I mean, it is a shotgun. It shouldn't be that hard to miss. Okay, just freeze him in place. Boom. 68k. Come on. Get, give me another one. Give me another one here. Come on. And boom. 60k again. <laughs> She's so good, man. Oh, broken character. Absolutely broken. Let's get another condensed here. Our final one. Give me something good. Damn. Well, not even in the set, so I don't really care. Oh, and by the way, what the hell even is this set effect? Can someone explain this in the comments in like two words and not 10,000? Anyways, we didn't really get any good pieces for Navia, so we are going to have to find and use other pieces for her instead. This means we are instead going to be using the newly added four piece Mara Chasse Hunter set. Now this isn't her best in slot, but it's still a really good set. And it does give us a nice 36% crit rate buff if we're able to like lose and gain HP, which we can do if we pair her with Farina. So instead we're gonna use this four piece. Let me get a couple pieces and see what we can do. All right, there we go. I got a four piece Mara Chasse Hunter. I actually didn't realize how cracked my Mara Chasse Hunter pieces are. This one has 30 crit damage. This piece has 30 crit damage. This one has 23. I got some pretty good March Chasse Hunter pieces, giving us a split of 79 to 14. That is really good. 126 recharge, which may not be the best ever, but I can pair her with other Geo units so that that recharge isn't the worst thing ever. For my stats, I really just went with the basic DPS stats that you use for all your DPS characters, attack percent, whatever elemental damage bonus. In this case, it's Geo and then crit rate slash damage, whatever I needed to balance out my ratio, which actually probably wasn't crit rate because I am on Mara Chasse Hunter, so I get an extra 36%, so I might actually want to go for crit damage instead. The only problem is, is that I don't have any crit damage in set, so I was kind of forced to go crit rate, but usually I would run crit damage there, but hey, I basically crit 100% of the time now, so I'm not complaining. Now, the last thing we need to do is upgrade all of her talents. And yes, you do want to upgrade all three. They are all very important to her overall kit. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm upgrading all three of them as far as I can. See you guys in a minute. Oh, uh, lightless silk string. I didn't grind that. I completely forgot about the all devouring narwhal. Uh, I forgot, bro. I've been so focused on my Farina recently, and I've been crowning her. I triple crowned damn Nuvalet, and I haven't done anything for Navia yet. That is bad. 
I need to go kill that narwhal. It needs to die. It cannot live any longer. Let's go fight this narwhal quickly. We can give our fully kitted out Navia one final try against the narwhal. Now, I do like the team we used before, but actually, I want to use Farina now because we did add the Mar Chasse Hunter set on. So, we're going to throw Farina in here and use her as well. And then, of course, with Farina, you're really going to want a healer. Uh, so, we're going to use Jean instead of Zhongli, which even though Animo doesn't work with Geo at all, she will help get Farina those stacks up and then also in cohesion, help Navia do more damage. And that's really all we care about is Navia's damage. We want her to kill stuff. And now against the Narwhal, unfortunately, she probably won't do much damage because the Narwhal has a crazy amount of defense and can take like two bajillion damage, but that's fine. Wow. What the hell was that? Ow. Oh my gosh. That guy does damage, man. Get back here. Boom. 30k. Boom. 40k. There we go. I don't know how the tracking's gonna work with the burst with the narwhal. Is it even gonna be able to hit it? I have no idea. Okay, burst. Okay, yeah, it's hitting it. It's kind of hitting it. Get back here. Get back here. Bro, the thing just runs away. This narwhal is actually such a painful boss fight. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting to the actual fight. We did about two damage to the narwhal, but that's okay. It's time to kill the like half boss of the fight. Let's go. Let's throw up these guys. Boom. Throw down Albedo. Boom. Oh my god, she's dead. Maybe I could have used Zhongli here. Bro, this guy does damage. What the heck? Time to shine. I need to get Gene Burst. Okay, now. Now we go off. Now we go. Now we go off. Oh yeah. Now, now you're dead, buddy. Where'd he go? Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. Get him, Albedo. Don't die again, Navia. I can't. I can't afford for you to die because I have no way to revive you. Okay, there we go. He's dead. Nice. Now we just have to kill Big Man. Easy peasy. Big Whale. Time to die. Your burst. And then Gene burst. And then Albedo. And now we go. And we put down this as well. Do it again. I need to get those stacks up as fast as I can. Come on. Get those stacks faster. Come on. Boom. 49k. Man, that what? we're actually doing a lot of damage against this whale. And we're getting our burst up hella fast. Look at that. 38k again. Oh, he's so close to, he's so close to dead. Just a little bit more, Navia. You got this. Put down this again. Albedo E. And we almost die again. Boom. Oh, shoot. I can't. I just can't get the final hit on him. Come on. I just need one more hit. 30k. No. No, get him. Look at his health. How is he not dead? Bro, he has no health left. Boom. Let's go. That's such an epic ability. I love that. Let's use 30 more resin. Get the last of what we need, and we get a one little silk string and something that we will turn into a silk string and a pretty dead feather. Anyways, with that, we're going to go craft what we need and hopefully get Navia to at least 777 is kind of what I hope if I do have the materials I need. Let's see here. So we're going to have to convert everything into these lightless silk strings. So we're going to craft, oh my goodness, I have five of these lightless masks. Goodbye to those things. I no longer need them. I need everything for Navia. Perfect. That's literally all I need. Now we go to Navia, all her talents, seven, seven, seven. Can we take any? anything to eight potentially no it does not look like we can do that unless maybe i have enough to craft do i craft four more of these and then i can craft two more here and you know what because we did so many wishes today we can probably buy a couple from the shop oh yeah we can we can buy 70 give me all those craft 24 more and then I bet we can craft some books too. We can craft 21 blues, get six bonus. That's really nice. And then 11 more golds. I think that might be enough for 8888. That would be really nice. I guess we'll have to check though. Let's see. One level eight, two level eight. And it looks like we're just four shy of missing the third level eight, but that's okay. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot grind these today. So we're going to be stuck at 887, but I will go home happy with that with a perfectly good Navia. I think we built her about as perfect as we can do without getting, you know, her weapon, which we would have liked, but we lost the 50-50 on that and a constellation that we also lost the 50-50 on. But with that all being said, I'm pretty happy with my Navia build. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.